Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Falcon. In this one I have for you a 2 vs 2 on loop and I'm going to be playing with the 2nd Infantry Division. This is the UK Infantry Division and as you might have noticed in my battle group it looks a little different to usual and that's because it is my We Ran Out of Budget Mark II battle group following on from the one that I made with the East Germans that had T-3485s. This time around, I'm theming it around a territorial army of the Brits. So we are going to be seeing lots of Terriers today. I've got Terriers, Terriers AT groups. I've even got military police. We're using blowpipes at the start as our AA. I've got the L6 Wombat in there which is a recoilless rifle we've got the rover milans they're probably as technical as it gets for this army we're not bringing in the tanks that we could bring in we're not bringing in any of the good recon vehicles like the foxes scorpions or uh, scimitars we are relying on ferrets yes ferret mark twos i've got some scouts with some at at the start we've also got loads of terrier scouts which have the L2A3 and L4A4s. So we're going to be seeing a lot of those L4A4 machine guns in this battle. I'm just going to click launch battle in case I'm the last person left, but it doesn't look like I am. Our air tab is Harriers, and they will be supporting me today. We have a decent amount of supply, to be honest. Bedford supply, Puma supply. We don't have a FSP, though, uh, so no supply at base. We probably need as much as we can get on the front line early on anyway because <laughs> this division is a little thin <laughs> when it comes to dealing with especially enemy armor. I'm almost hoping, well actually I don't know who I want to be up against. We are playing against Gary the Blind and Matador. They're playing with the 7th Panzer Division and the 39th. Both of these divisions are horrible for me to fight. I'm going to be joined by Ruamitir who is going to be playing with the 82nd Airborne. Looks like I did leave a scout behind and a Terrier's AT group, so let's get both of those moving up to the front ASAP. I have a Rover CP that's just going to drive through this sector, capture that, drive through this sector, capture this, and head towards Delta and capture that. It looks like uh, my teammate's going to be doing the same thing, so that's good. Uh, I might just leave him to it. If I can get my Rover CP maybe up into here that would be good because it would allow me to capture that first I was just a little bit worried that you wouldn't be doing this but it looks like he'll probably be yeah fast moving that here now a good tip if you want to see what your friendlies are doing you can select their units and hold shift as long as you don't have any of your own units selected at the same time and it will show you their orders so I can see that he's going to fast move it here which is perfect right, we are going to want to unload because uh, we did get the enemy spotted Although it looks like he's deployed a little bit further back. Okay, he's going to probably push through the trees here. Oh no, not my ferret. No! <laughs> Alright, let's just unload these into position. I really like that <laughs> my ferret is the one at the front. <laughs> it's so silly. Uh, we're going to be dealing with uh, Sapati RPO. Okay, what I'm going to do then, we're going to bring in some gazelles. I'm going to get all my gazelles in early on. Although there is a Strela 10M back here, but I'm going to have faith. I'm going to have faith. Right, let's uh, sell these. Sell that UAZ we captured. See if my L6 Wombat can kill that BMP for me. That would be nice. Let's just get all of these sold. Selling my transports is really important for this division because two transports is basically the same price as an infantry squad, so I just need to be flooding in units. I'm also going to bring in a bunch of machine guns. And it looks like we're going to be fighting primarily over this right-hand side. So we're up against the 39th player here. Taking out the BMP3s early on was pretty good. Really good actually. We're going to move all of these up to help with this engagement. The more guns I can get on target the better. We also now have the gazelles in position so that's good. 
not going to have them too far forwards. I'm going to bring in some Puma supplies back here that can reload these. i to be a bit careful of this trailer. Uh, but meanwhile, let's just bring in some more Wombats that can sit on the edge. The MP3, again, a bit of a problem. Uh, we can bring, probably bring in some Wombats to the middle as well. Oh, that's not good. That's some scary rocket artillery at the start. That gazelle got a little too far up. Probably dead. It's okay. I'm just hoping that rocket artillery ends before my troops arrive. Otherwise I'm going to have to change their orders and that might be a bit annoying. I'm going to move my military police back forwards. I'll be able to help the cohesion recover. So the military police trait grants a suppression regeneration bonus. Which is really, really useful to have. You can see I've got so many points because I've been selling all of my units. The next thing I'm going to do... Ooh, he's uh, some stuff on my flank here. It's okay. Let's see if we can move my terriers up. Maybe get some shots onto these some T-62s, sorry. Not T-72s. Uh, these wombats need to come to the left. For sure. <laughs> this is so weird. We have won the infantry engagements at least. Terrier back. We're also going to want more AA actually, so good point. As much as I'd love to rely on blowpipes, their range is really short. I'm going to try and squeeze forwards a little bit here, get a rocket on target of that Pula Machiki. can also try and get, get rockets onto these units on the right here. Okay, not bad. Player on the left here, it's done pretty well controlling this. I'm going to commit to the mid, I think. So let's bring up a bunch of more units here. And I'm going to probably invest into AT guns, not AT guns, sorry, machine guns, on this right side uh, in order to get this locked down. Let's make sure we're selling any and all trucks. Well, that direct hit my wombat with the first shot. That's sad. Sorry, we just kind of spread out away from that artillery. Unfortunate that one of my units got direct hit there. Second platoon, ready, sir. 
Maybe this javelin can get on target. So at least we got one hit. <laughs> it's something. Alright, my train of units is coming in there. Next thing I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to bring in a bunch of Milans on here. And we're going to bring a couple in on the left side. Tanks are a big problem for us. I'm also going to bring in my Wombats again. Get my scouts up on that side. I do have my rogue Milans further back that we can maybe try and use. That's unfortunate. Alright, we need to select all the terriers that have pioneers and those that don't. Fortunate. Yeah, those are really aren't lasting. <laughs> Let's bring up some more infantry here that can actually be meaty and hold position. I can also get my gazelles back up, but I just gotta be careful that they don't sneak shrellers up on me while I'm not looking. Ooh, the timing. That's rough. Are we really gonna make a move forwards here? Pioneers managing to get right on top of them did a lot of damage. Crikey, that rocket artillery coming in doing a ton of damage. Oh yeah, we get the Rover Milans into position here. And I might want to like push out with the Wombat. I think the second shot will probably reveal that. Oh, not quite. He doesn't have any recon on that far left side, so able to take advantage of that. That's good. That paid itself off. The good thing about this kind of deck is that because my units are quite cheap, they do pay themselves off pretty fast. Like I get one kill, and it's paid itself off. It's just I might run out of units pretty quickly because all of my units are pretty cheap. Uh, but let's just bring up a wave of javelins. Nice, we can see the enemy leader. Let's see if we can take that out. So far, so good. We've actually got, got off to a really good start here. <laughs> With my territorials. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Like, I unironically think these cheaper decks are really good. <laughs> they seem to work out every time. Almost every time. Maybe it's just because of the spam, you know, like the there's just not enough units that they have to deal with it. Particularly in a town sense, because there's a lot of uh, like infantry, a lot of guns. I think infantry combats always really come down to who has more guns. Because whilst you do have specialist un uh, units like napalm uh, launchers or satchels, it's not like that important to like I can just ignore them let them waste their ammunition and then just yeah go from there oh that's a shame I thought I managed to reach it then because it do the second one came through but didn't hit second shot and then another one came through from up here that's sad right, I'm gonna have the terrorist pioneer just run this direction oh there's the igla let's go kill him Shut up and listen to your sarge. 
I'm waiting for the push here, but I'm not seeing it. Do we get some Rainbow Milans up on that side? Gonna try and move up a Puma behind here, a bit cheeky. Probably get shot down by Estrella, but we'll give it a go. Oh, he's asking my Rover. I'm just going to move that into the town. If he's got recon on the right hand side still, he probably lose line of sight of it if I put it in the town. The unit there. That is very dead. <laughs> I love the way it accidentally went over that. I need this to get down. Get down. No, not the stun. Sad times. Yeah. Ideally, what I should be doing is using Bedford supplies to come back to the Pumas. Although I don't know, do the Pumas have more? No, they don't. So I don't think the Pumas would supply the Bedfords because the Bedfords have the same amount of supply. Maybe they will. Anyway, we've got Bedfords up here now. So that's good. Any units that get low, we can just fall back and. Get them back up to full strength. I could also send one further forwards into the trees here. Bit risky, but would be worth fixing up this guy's airborne unit for sure. I don't really want to push out into the open, because that's not going to work for this division at all. We're currently sitting on 1,200 points. Maybe we could bring in some Harriers, just for funsies. They'll probably die in a fire, but it'll be fun to watch. Be careful. Let's go for the Rocket 2s, because they will actually kill BMP3s. I don't think there's that much in the way of AA here, so we might get away with it. Okay, they didn't come in where I expected them to. Just give me a target. That one coming in on its own is probably going to get shot down. I'm just rocketing that so it stuns whatever it was. Oh, this needs to get through there because I think he's trying to hit this. There goes the Harrier. Oh no, get out Harrier, please. No. Okay, it survived. Just almost crashed into my rover. That would have been very awkward. Okay. We need reinforcements on this right hand side. Uh, we can shift over Terriers from the right. We've got actually quite a lot of units here. Nice kill on the BMP2 though. Or maybe we'll kill the T62 as well. The Milans are nice because they one-shot T62s. Uh, let's move these forwards. Should be able to get some line of sight onto these units. We'll just space them out nicely. I don't want them to capture my supply truck, so we got to do a runner. <laughs> These gazelles have actually been MVP this game. They really have. They've spotted us. They did counter cap the mid for a second, but here come the gazelles. Gonna go in for the land. 
That was a really smooth landing from that one on the left. Really smooth. We actually nearly won already. 1,731 points. Oh, they counter capped my sector. Okay, that's fine. We'll just use these units to go hunt them out. by CP away. <laughs> we might get hit by those rockets otherwise. Oh, all of the units coming in. The javelin's not really hitting the mark. Wait, did that shoot down my gazelle? <laughs> I think it did. The BM is real. You know what we need? We need ferrets. Ferrets would be really useful. Alright, let's have these push up that way. My gazelles can come and sort that out. Oh, listen to that. All the gazelles starting up. Off they go. The wombat on the flank there getting hit by my wombat. Sorry, the wombat on the flank killing the conquerors. <laughs> wombat getting hit by wombat. We'll kill that unit. Kill that unit. I only really need one to shoot that, not two. Oh, one of them got hit. Oh dear. Gazelle down. Lucky another one didn't die. Let's bring up some more troops. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> An SU-27. <laughs> I have nothing to kill that. <laughs> the best thing I would have had to kill that is a Harrier AA. <laughs> That's so silly. Alright, well, we won. <laughs> GG, guys. 2,460 kills. 2,460 losses. Nothing in value is lost. <laughs> the Territorial Army is real. We managed to win a game that was actually fun to play, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was a silly one. It was certainly a silly one. And I played it live because, you know, you guys really enjoyed the last time I played live, so I decided to do it again. That Jurgen was doing a lot of damage to my infantry. Look at that. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I actually do like the new rocket effects though. They're not too obnoxious, but they you can still kind of see it coming in at the end, which is nice. Yeah, the Conkers, the Yodaguns did most of the damage. There is some bad infantry engagements for, for me there, particularly the Sapelli Apio doing wells with the Napalm Launcher. But at the end of the day, we were sitting on like 1,700 points. So <laughs> I had plenty of reinforcements to bring in to hold that right side if needs be that was fun though hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye